What's up everybody? Welcome to another video here on Alvaro's Outdoor Adventures. Uh, I've got a lot of questions about the kayak I'm using. It's a Pelican 110, the Catch HD, pedal drive. And I'm going to do a little review of what I personally think about this kayak. By no means am I sponsored by them or anything, so I'm going to give you my honest review on it. So hopefully you like this video and if you do please give me that thumbs up if you're new to my channel welcome and remember please consider subscribing also hit that bell button so you can get notified anytime i upload a video i'm sorry i haven't put any content lately but as you can hear my voice i haven't been doing great and plus we've had some severe weather i finally came out today i also had my family from uh, california so that was awesome too uh, but anywho, I'm back I'm trying to get some content for you guys. Like I said, hopefully you like this video, so stick around. This is the kayak that I use. It's Pelican, the Catch 110 HD. Uh, two, number two, second generation. Uh, let me give you a walk. Through. So this is the drive pedal. This is where it goes into. Put it in. You lock these two. It won't come out. And then all you do is pedal. So the only thing that this doesn't have, it's a reverse button. Uh, in order for you to go reverse, you would need to take it out. Take that drive out and turn it around. Then it will go over reverse. Otherwise, it's just straightforward. Starting at the back, you have the rudder. You take this off, and then you deploy it. It goes into the water. This is what helps you move right or left. Here you have storage. Uh, more storage capacity in here. Nice handles, rod holders. This is your steering, which you go left or right. If you can see the rudder, it turns. So that's the steering. I added this for my other camera. Then you got your seat, plenty of storage underneath. Cash straps here, tackle, storage. It has a good, comfortable seat. I mean, the only thing it's this is you're sitting down, putting all the pressure, this could come loose a bit. And then all of a sudden you have your seat all the way back. Plenty of storage underneath, straps here, drink holders on both sides. Rod holder facing forward, two facing back, plenty of storage there, a hatch, two handle grips, your rudder, you can put another hatch up there, it has Scotty mount tracks, and your paddle holder here. And this is how it would look when I'm at the water. I have that uh, camera mount right there. This one, of course, is higher. I have my PDF, my tackle for a crappie. This is if I'm fishing for crappie. If I'm doing catfish, then I have two rod holders for catfish there. I don't have this. I have my crate, my rods and reels, my net. Of course, my ruler for fish, small Lorenz uh, fish finder that on the same mount I have the transducer on it. This is it. I mean, other than the stability, the width, um, the only thing I would like about it is how it controls in rough waters. All right, magic trick. 
So here I have four sevens. And if I take the first one, which is the seven of diamonds, put the rest of them on top, you'll see that seven of diamonds will disappear. If I get the next card, the seven of spades, put the rest on top, you'll see that the seven of spades will disappear. If I get the seven of clubs, put the seven of hearts, and it disappears automatically. So there you have it. So here is what I don't like about this kayak and what really turns me down. So here you can see I have my steering all the way to the left and as I paddle it's going to move to the right. Um, this is one of the most problematic issues things. It's not stable to where uh, it, you can turn it the way you want to or where you want to go. Then because of this I started this bad habit to where I'm steering with my rods which does so work but I'm gonna end up breaking a rod or reel a rod um, soon because um, there's no way I will be able to move it unless I use that here you can also see that um, it does work in a way sometimes I mean the less calm the water is uh, the perfect the kayak's gonna be but once you put a little wake into the water then it goes back to it being something that you're gonna have to struggle with while you're in the water here you can see I am managing it to go either right or left wherever I want it to go but once I start getting bigger wakes or the kayak starts going one way I won't be able to turn it the other way unless I do a full 360 or uh, use the rod or something else to um, steer it the way I want it to go so it's not necessarily all the time I mean if you have a lake that has no wakes this is perfect for you uh, but if you don't, uh, kind of like here in Benbrook where you have to guess uh, if it's going to be windy over there or not, uh, which most of the times it is windy, uh, it's going to give you a headache here and there because uh, depending on how choppy the water is, then um, you'll have issues controlling the kayak. like that it won't turn left anymore once I'm hit on that one current there's no way it's gonna come back in uh, straighten out so the best thing that I found is to turn it to the way it's turning and do a complete 360 sucks but I also heard that this happens to the Hobies as well although I've seen them much more firm but again this is a $1,500 kayak compared to a $5,000 kayak well there you go everybody hopefully you like this video as you saw, it's a good kayak. Personally, me, I won't buy it. I, unless I do some other uh, upgrades to it, to the drive, because that's mainly the most, what I have issues with. Uh, other than that, it's a good, good kayak. I'm not saying it's a great kayak because I could get a cheaper kayak that I paddle with and it'll be much more easier for me on the water but anywho hopefully you liked this video if you did please give me that thumbs up if you're new to my channel welcome please consider subscribing also hit that bell button so you can get notified anytime i upload a video my faithful subscribers welcome back hopefully you like this as well that's it for today and as always see you in the outdoors